In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make customer avatars 100 times faster using ChatGPT so that you can make better Facebook ads. Now, I'm sure by now you've heard of ChatGPT, but what exactly are customer avatars? Well, these are simply profiles you create of your main customer groups so that you and anyone that you work with is able to visualize exactly who your intended customers are. And this makes it a lot easier for people to create copy, creative landing pages, or even products that speak to those individual avatars or are created for them. And they're gonna include things like demographics, the problems and frustrations the person's facing, their wants or desires, the key USPs of your product that fits that particular avatar, as well as before and after states of having your product or interacting with your particular brand. Now, I know this might sound like a woo-woo, pointless exercise. And in all honesty, most of the brands, big brands that I've worked with over the last couple of years, haven't actually had these avatars in place whenever they've come on board. But I'm gonna be straight with you. In 2023, if you want success on Facebook ads, creating avatars are essential. Not just saying that, they're literally essential because it's getting harder and harder to advertise in the platforms and we need to be able to create creatives, copy and landing pages that speak or resonate with each individual avatar rather than trying to appeal to absolutely everyone. It just does not work. So we're going to jump onto the screen now and I'm going to show you how you actually create these avatars using ChatGPT. So here's the sheet we're going to be filling in one for each of the avatars. And if you've seen my video last year about creating avatars where I used to do this manually, this is the exact same sheet. So we're still sticking with the same sheet. We're just saving ourselves hours and hours of work by filling, in, filling this in using ChatGPT, okay? So these are all the different sections and I'm gonna give you 10 commands that you can input into ChatGPT and it's gonna give you all of this information for each of these sections. So we're gonna cover the age, gender, family status, financial situation, and the education level of the avatar. We're gonna do their frustration and fears, wants and aspirations, key purchase drivers. Okay, so what are the key purchase drivers? And you might need to do a little bit tweaking with some of these. So for this one, you might need to think, what does my specific product actually offer? How can I tweak, tweak these a little bit, depending on what chat GPT spits out? Because it's talking in broad terms. It doesn't know your exact product. So you might have created specific USPs that chat GPT has no way of knowing about, okay? So there is a bit of manual work as well involved at the end, but you'll have this all been put in here very, very quickly. And that won't take too long, okay? So before and after states, what do they have before? That's talking about things like, what do they what do they have, what do they do? After state, what do they have, what do they do? Well, they're obviously gonna have your product and what are the things connected to that? What are they feeling before and after? That's very easy for chat GPT to spit out. What's an average day like? And what's their status? So again, these are the kind of things that make it seem a bit woo woo to you, like I mentioned earlier, but you'll be surprised at how beneficial these are in allowing people to visualize who the actual avatar is connected to someone they know and think oh yeah I know exactly how to create videos or images that would that person would like or how to write copy that that person would like how to even design products that that person would like okay this is what the avatar allows you to do and then we're going to finish it off with three different hooks as well that I like to have they're not actual copy you use but the hooks just give you the three core sort of messaging angles that you wanna be targeting. And then you find out what works and you can double down on whatever is working best, okay? So we're gonna open up ChatGPT here. Now I've already ran this because ChatGPT obviously takes a little bit of time to write out the actual answers, but I will provide all of the prompts I used in the description so you can go and get all 10 of them there. But we'll look at them individually here and we won't spend too long on it. You know, it's there's not too much explanation that's needed. All you will do is basically transfer this information that, spit out, that it spits out and put it into these sheets and then give it a name. You know, give it a name with someone that you think of fits that kind of demographic, okay? So, for example, a brand I've started working with recently, they have 
sort of older male um ex-veteran who drives four-wheel drive vehicles as one of their avatars so i called him gi jocko gi connected to the fact that it's a veteran jocko for jocko i can't know i don't know his second name jocko velknik or whatever it is basically uh, the ex navy seals guy who's like a podcaster always on joe rogan um and then four-wheel drive that was just speaking to what car he drove okay so instantly anyone looking at that can look at jocko they can look at a veteran and they can look at a four-wheel drive driver and know exactly who we're talking about that all these demographics and wants and aspirations fit to okay so anyway chat gbt the first prompt you're going to put in is going to be about creating the avatars for your product so obviously i've used my product i'm actually doing this for my actual brand because it's just the most the easiest way to gauge if it is good or not and to explain to you what i'm doing but it's crazy how good this was this is pretty much the three avatars not called these things but the, the avatars that i actually did manually for the brand um so yeah it was scary how good chat gbt is for this process so create the three main avatars for a premium natural sleep supplement and it's come out and spit out three different avatars so a stressed out working professional, a fitness enthusiast, and older adults with sleep troubles, and then giving me a bit of background as to who they are. For this, I just like to take the overall heading, and then I can translate that into a person's name with this information. You don't need to copy this paragraph over because you're gonna go into all the actual individual things we need in the, with the next prompts. So the next thing you're gonna come down to is this one all you're going to do is now provide the age gender relationship financial and education demographic of each and it's going to give you for each each and every one okay all that information i didn't need to type anything else in it already can reference this area above and split it into all three so i then just have to take all that and transfer it into that section it's exactly the same it, that's how good it is guys it's super good it saves you so much time even just having to type all this out so that's that one done the next thing is to provide the frustrations and fears of each so this is what it spat out so stressed out working professional here's the frustrations here's their fears fitness enthusiast here's the frustrations here's their fears and then the same with the older adult okay so read into these you know struggling to balance work and personal life feeling overwhelmed or burnt out, having trouble turning off their brain at night, worrying about the impact of poor sleep on their job performance and overall health. They seem pretty legit. These do seem like fears people would have connected to not getting enough sleep, which is obviously the problem that your product or my product solves. So very useful. And then fears losing their job are being passed. Sorry, that was the frustrations. And then the fears are, the fears and frustrations are basically, to me, very, very similar. You can just combine these and there might be some overlap. But yeah, take these, think about them. Is there anything you want to cut that is too long-winded or too high level? Is there anything else you can add that you know because you know now who is a stressed out working prof professional in your particular country? what are they like it might differ country to country so that might be something you want to tweak it with but that's a pretty good place to start you know that's pretty um substantial and in-depth so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ask them to provide the wants and aspirations which is going to be very very similar so stress that working professional working professional the wants and aspirations to feel more relaxed and be able to unwind after work to improve their sleep quality and wake up feeling refreshed and energized to find a natural solution that doesn't have unwanted side effects and to improve their overall health and well-being. So maybe some of the ones at the end are, could be applied to anyone and you might see that in these, but certainly you can see the, the specifics of this, to relax and unwind after work. Big problem with people who are working in corporate jobs in the office is they have stress, okay? So they want a sleep supplement to be able to relax and unwind at night that's the that's the 
the thing that our product can solve for them versus an older adult, they're not going to feel stressed and needing to de-stress and relax because they're retired. They don't have the same worries as someone that's working. So that's not going to be, that's not going to be something you can talk about in messaging, messaging that's going to resonate with them as much as someone who is in this category. They're more not able to sleep because they have pain or health issues. Let's see if they say it actually. Yeah, so this one doesn't say it, but the previous one I did, did say it. Uh, but yeah, they're talking about improving health, independence, feeling more stressed. So actually, this is wants and aspirations. Let's look at the, the thing here. Uh, pain, there you go. So dealing with chronic pain or health issues. So the problem they're facing is pain and health issues, not stress and anxiety. They don't need to relax and wind, okay? Sorry I went back and jumped over the place, but there's another good one for you. So that's the the wants and aspirations. The next one is provide their key purchase drivers. So what is what is it about your product that's making them purchase? This is probably the one that you'll have to do the most tweaking to because there's no way ChatGPT can know exactly what your product does. I imagine you've created your product, you've looked at the market and gone, how can I differentiate myself? What can I do better? And to be able to do that, you will have created things that ChatGTP doesn't know. It can only look at the average. So yeah, that's um, unless you're big enough or you're, you've been on the internet long enough that it can actually know your brand and, and can do you specifically. But from my perspective, it can't. So this is what it's going to give me. So what are the key purchase drivers? Natural ingredients, because I mentioned it in the title, so it knows it's a natural sleep supplement. So the more information you can give it, the better it's going to be able to spit these out. Proven track record of helping. So one, they want efficacy, positive review, reviews, testimonials from people like them, convenient and easy to use, affordable price point. This one didn't come up previously because it isn't really something that a working professional who is mid to high income would be considered about, would be worried about. They, they will spend the money to get something. They have a steady income and, you know, their performance and work is more important than the money. They know that if they invest in themselves and work, they'll get better performance. So that didn't come up before. That's what you have to do, guys. Sometimes it'll spit out some things you don't agree with. Doesn't mean it is correct. You might, you might know better, you know your business, you know your product. It's just giving you the starting point and tweak it appropriately, okay? So that's that one. Then we can start looking at before and after state. So this is something that I found manually is the hardest part and it just does it with ease, you know? <laughs> it's crazy how easy it does it. Uh, so yeah, so before and after state, what was the first prompt? So I've said now create a before and after state for each. And then I've given this specific before and after state of each of these sections. So now create a before and after state for each regarding what they own. So what do they have before you have their product? And then what do they have after they own your product? They obviously own your product, but there'll be things connected to that. So you have to tweak it a little bit because they don't know exactly what your specific product is. But let's look at it. So before relies on caffeine and other stimulants to get through the day. So they they own coffee, they own energy drinks, struggles to fall asleep at night and wakes up feeling groggy and unrefreshed. May have tedious tried various over the counter sleep aids with mixed results. So they own sleep aids. Uh, the previous one I did was talking about owning expensive sleep aids as well. So different tech you could maybe pay for. Maybe there's some apps you pay for to try and sleep. You don't need that once you're taking my supplement because it's natural, allows you just to get better sleep the natural way. So that is something that we can address on the after state. Uh, the after state has found a natural, there you go, natural sleep supplement that helps them unwind and fall asleep. Wakes up refreshed, no longer feels reliant on caffeine or other stimulants to function. So what I said to that is they now use caffeine or coffee as something to enjoy rather than something they actually need just to get by. And yeah, I'm just doing the working professionals to save time, but each one of these will have value in it. So the sec the third thing or the second thing would be 
create the same thing before and after state regarding how they feel. So how do they feel stressed out working professional before they feel overwhelmed, stressed and burnt out from work. They struggle to relax and unwind and they may feel anxious or worried about their job performance and overall health. Well, after they're going to feel more relaxed and able to unwind after work, they're going to experience less stress and anxiety and they're going to feel more confident in their job performance and overall health. So what you're seeing here is this is good because it's not just giving us the, the logical reasons to buy your, your product, it's giving us some emotional problems to look at and emotional benefits your product can address. So feelings are, pro are, are good too emotions and the actual logical benefits next one now create a before and after state for each regarding what their average day looks like i find this is very helpful to understand or visualize who the actual person is and if you're giving your avatars to creators to try and make imagery for it so to use actual imagery that reflects that person or think about how they create like ugc content these can be very helpful to those kind of people because they can think, yeah, they can get into the mind of that person, exactly how an actor would do, you know. Good actors, they'll go and follow the actual, let's say it's an actual, um, like a, a biography or whatever, they'll go and follow the actual person, replicate their behaviors. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio in The Wolf of Wall Street. When you actually know, when you actually see Jordan Peterson, not, not Jordan Peterson, Jordan um, Belford, you can go, wow, he played that so well. He, he seems exactly like the guy because that's what he's done. He's looked at all his stuff. He's followed them around. He's taken on those mannerisms. And by doing this before and after state, it really helps people who are creating content for you do that same thing. Or copywriters, graphic designers, videographers, whatever. You see actors. So rushes for their morning routine to get to work on time. Feels drained and stressed at work. Struggles to unwind in the evenings due to ongoing work demands may have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. And then after, it takes time in the morning to practice self-care, set intentions of the day, feels more focused and productive at work, sets boundaries and creates a relaxing evening routine, falls asleep more easily and experiences more rest or sleep. So it's perfect. It gives you the, the, the one that's connected to each and every one. It doesn't just use different ones in each before and after. So it's all connected and all uh, in synergy, which is great. This is the last one for the before and after states before and after state regarding how their status is in society so are they that cool person that everyone wants to be or are they that loser that nobody likes okay you're really creating an idea of that person so that the avatar can resonate with it and be that person they aspire to be so yeah that's one of those things uh let's look at it so here are some potential before and after. So stressed out working professional before they feel overworked and undervalued. They may struggle to find work-life balance and feel like they're not making progress in their career. So I think that one's maybe not that punchy. Sometimes you don't get it. What you can do is you can ask it to try again. So you could just put in a prompt like try this again or put that prompt in again to see something else that comes out. But yeah, overworked and undervalued. So undervalued is the core thing I'd take from that. Um, and they're not making progress. So they're stagnant in their career. Those are two things I could probably pull out from that part. But the, when I did it previously, it probably gave me better things. Um, basically suggested that they were a liability to the company and that you know they weren't going to be able to progress. People didn't rely on them to do certain things or whatever and then after feels more in control of the career and work-life balance may experience more recognition there you go and satisfaction in their work okay um undervalued society so the one thing about chat gbt is it's going to be very pc and it's not going to be too mean so i specifically think in this area you can think about it more yourself and add to these really get mean about it, really think, you know, who's the loser, who's the legend, and properly say how society would look at those people. Because if someone's, let's say someone is like an incel, we can have empathy, you as an individual could have empathy towards them. You have to think how, how does society treat them? How does that, how, how do they feel inside? 
in order to put this down correctly and have a proper before and after state that really, really resonates with them and really spurs them to want to be motivated to feel a certain way and to buy your product, okay? And then the final thing will be, which you would do at the end, but I obviously forgot one, would be this. With all this information now, create three hooks for each. So it's gonna give me the three hooks. Don't just copy all this, come in, read these, and try and find that what is the overall hook like two or three letters, two or three words, sorry, that these are talking about so that all your messaging can be connected to that. doesn't matter about synonyms, you know. We want to find out what is that high-level hook, messaging angle that we're covering, and then all the copy can speak in different ways as long as it's addressing that. So hook, tired of relying on caffeine to get for the day. Our natural sleep energy can unwind and get restful sleep. Okay, so this one, you have to read into that. For me, that hook is energy. The reliant on caffeine, the hook is going to be more energy. That is the hook, more energy, not enough energy, both sides of the coin that I can use in messaging, but the hook is energy. The second one, work demands keeping you up at night. So it's being kept up at night. Again, we have to translate that into something we can use, talking about relaxing, sleep easily. What are all these connected to from my knowledge as a brand owner in this space? It's talking about stress and anxiety. You can't fall asleep because you're stressed and anxious or you're thinking about stuff the next day about work. Your brain is too active. That is the stress and anxiety angle, okay? We don't need all that paragraph. We want to really cut it down to just the high level thing, umbrella term that encapsulates everything. And then the final one, ready to break the cycle of stress and poor sleep. Our natural sleep supplement can help you manage stress and anxiety so you can enjoy a more balanced and produ productive life. Okay, so that's those are really just the same. Maybe more in stress and anxiety, that's more about being active. Um, so yeah, I think you could have two. I mean, if you could, if you want, you could say, okay, that's pure stress and anxiety. And then this one is speaking to the angle of faster falling asleep. So even though stress and anxiety is connected to that, it's one factor, you could split that into three. But, you know, you have to use some uh, sense in this and your own judgment. But it's a great starting point, as I said. And that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Take all that information, put it into this document. You've got three avatars. Of course, you might want more. You might want less. You might only want one. You might only want two. That is up to you guys. But this is a massively... <laughs> beneficial exercise the time it took you to watch this video and do this whole process is going to be insignificant com com to the, compared to the amount of time it would have taken you to do this manually previously so definitely get on chat gbt do this like i said i'll leave all the prompts in the description and if you've enjoyed it let me know if you're having any problems definitely ask about that and until the next video hope you've enjoyed uh, the video and i will see you very soon guys